Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Relic Space. This will be the uh, third time I've checked this game out. This is uh, this game has been in early access for quite a while, and um, it just maybe it hasn't actually. It might it might be that I had early access to it. I'm not sure, but um, either way, it's it's hit 1.0, and it is like I, I think feature complete with the plans of continuous uh, con continuous updates and uh, content updates. So um, we're, what we're going to be doing this time is if you want to see uh, kind of the early stages of this game and the tutorial and stuff like that, you might want to check out my first look at this game, um, which I will put the link in the description. Also available in the description will be a link to the store page for Relic Space uh, if you want to check it out. But um, for this, let's try what we're going to be doing is I've already done the tutorial. It's basically exactly the same. Uh, as the other times I've done it, um, and I'm going to be playing just a normal game. I'm just going to be roaming around and doing some sandbox stuff. Um, and I, you know, my thoughts are pretty much unchanged um, from the first couple of times I've played this. I, I like it, and I am looking forward to seeing more in it, um, by which I mean um, that I think that it's got a very good kind of like foundation, a platform for like sandbox uh, gameplay. I wish my stop it phone. <laughs> um, but it's. Uh, I think right now it, it, it's. Um, it, it feels like it definitely could stand have more stuff going on. Like it's got it's got good combat and it's got good game, gameplay and I I like the progression in it and the progression has gotten a lot of the the brunt of the updates. I feel there's a, a the world definitely feels more fleshed out but like just the little touches here and there the the interface and uh, I definitely feel like the major like kind of tech trees have been fleshed out a bit I'll go through a bit of that um in fact maybe we can we can go through it right now if you remember or if you you know check out my other videos um these are basically your your kind of like character progression or your like ship's progression your ability to um basically do certain like super abilities we also have kind of a tech progression which is an interesting idea in this it almost feels like the game is like a cross between like a traditional roguelike and like a 4x game but um we can basically we can find relics in the universe and then eventually uh re research them in and, and that will unlock a new understanding for us in the form of i, I believe tech progression um and in this you know like the one i've got here is the gravit gravitic booster which i have yet to find or and so I'm, I'm not really sure maybe uh how how we would go about finding that but it's something we'll find out uh, as we play the game um, I have a mission I can sort of take here, but I have to do other things first. Our major goal in the game, by the way, uh, which I don't know if the game actually had one when I first played it, is to progress our faction uh, either militarily or economically. So we can, um, you know, do that in the means of like trading and like earning money and stuff like that. Or we could just like go, go around and fight stuff. Um, you might be surprised to find I actually... Uh, prefer to just fight stuff um, so I've been earning more military uh, victory points so um, our right now our faction let's see who is our faction our faction is oh it's going to tutorialize it a little the faction info panel summarizes the current status of each faction the radar chart on the left allows for comparisons of each faction on six key stats hover the around okay so um I think it tells us where oh who is our faction oh here we no that's the that's the panel we're on actually military well we know i know that we have four so we must be part of this the order we're part of the order uh f faction and we have four victory points so far so we're actually winning over the other one so it's it's an interesting idea um you know our our, our victory in this game isn't so much a uh, a character victory like we're not like getting the amulet of yendor or anything like that um we're we're progressing our, our our faction our team to a point of like you know uh supremacy which is interesting so here's our map um i'm going to be going over there's an order mission uh, available over here and uh, this is how we're going to be earning things like uh victory points is we're going to be just doing some quests and, and trying to get some money and upgrade our ship and fun stuff like that um and, uh, you know, I haven't been to this system much, so there's a lot of this uh, kind of yellow fog of war going on here to to uh, sort of let us know that we can we can explore a bit. 
Uh, there's these uh, little lads here. They'll, you know, I, I appreciate how fleshed out the world feels. Like you'll see like people just kind of milling about doing their thing. You'll see miners doing their thing. Um, I believe this is, I don't know if this is a system. I, um, sorry, a station. I think this is a station. And this is a station that belongs to my faction. Uh, and these guys all belong to my faction. They're all, they've all got that blue icon. Um, they'll, we'll come across like pirates and stuff. Uh, the combat is, is actually really cool. You can get very kind of into the uh, like moment to moment combat. An environmental effect is now active in this sector. The sector is prone to corrosive storms that weaken ship hulls. So we can see these kind of like little lightning bolts uh, of, are, are, are creating a problem for us. Uh, nothing, nothing too major. I guess I should have docked at that previous station to see uh, if maybe they had something for us. We can possibly buy... I guess we can't do anything at this one. I do pre... Oh, there... Okay, so we have to go over there. So we can just kind of, like, hit the button. I, I It'll, like, stop you in combat um, if, if, you know, something is happening. So you don't, you don't have to, like, accidentally move while you're in combat. So here's our first combat. Or not mine but you know for this video i'm going to divert power to so this is our ability that's basically going to boost our weapon damage then we're going to do a uh, power shot i have two different weapons installed so i'm going to do a power shot with one power shot with the other that one hit um so the way the combat works in this game is basically you have a movement and you have an attack um, you can do your attack if you if you want to be manual about it, and I am being manual about it right now. You can do your attack before or after you do your movement. So if I move um, over here, um, now that I've moved, it's kind of like a new turn order. I can attack now, or I uh, it's actually prompting me to attack. That's why I can't just move. I could skip attacking, um, or I could you know like just just attack before I move again. So. Um, they still have their shields. There's a reason I care about that. We're going to hit them. And that actually destroyed them Im immediately. So that was kind of nice. Um, okay, that guy, this guy is being harassed. This guy actually belongs to my faction, maybe? No, he belongs to energy. I don't know which, uh... Let me look at... Is energy its own faction? I don't know if that's even a faction. Well, either way, um, you know, the red circle generally means bad. So I still have my, my weapons powered up, so I may as well hit him. Um, so this game has, uh, like, kind of s not really positional tactics, but it's got directional tactics. So, like, our ship is pointed forward, and we can continue moving forward for, uh, you know, basically no cost. Um, but, uh, you'll notice these little double dash, uh, icons here. Well, that actually means that we're gaining like a bonus to our dodge. So like when they, sh if they shoot at us, they have a le less of a chance of hitting it. As long as you, as long as you continue moving, you'll continue, you maintain that bonus. And like I say, you can shoot before or after you move. So these are all things that kind of matter when it comes to our combat. Um, very rarely do you actually want to wait in this, uh, in this game, which is a kind of a, a, a big like not digression but like um it's it, it's a, a kind of a separation from other traditional roguelikes usually waiting is like the key to victory how you how you um use your your position to to kind of manipulate the battlefield definitely matters in this one yes you do your your position definitely does matter but it, it kind of more matters um like how the flow of combat is moving. So like, you know, this guy is moving into these asteroids. That means like if I was on the other side of these asteroids, I have, I'd have a less chance of hitting him, but then so would he, right? So maybe like maybe uh, one of my s s um, systems is on fire or something or dis you know, uh, disengaged. Like maybe he's landed a fatal blow and done some damage to like my laser so I can't fire anymore. So maybe I want to like move over through these asteroid fields to like give myself some time to recover. Um, he did like a kind of a hairpin turn there but because he like he, you get this kind of like 45 degree angle opportunity. And this is like one of those situations like would waiting actually be better than moving? Probably not. But like if I move, then I better I, I just have to hope that I'm going to hit him. I, I have a very good chance of hitting him. Oh, never mind. That would have that would have killed him too. A shame. 
Um, zero chance to hit due to cover. So that asteroid is actually providing 100%. So we're going to have to skip our weapons this turn. Now that he's moved past it, I can try and hit him. I probably should have moved first and then hit him, but it didn't, you know, kind of moot because I, I did hit him. Um, so now there's another lad over here that we're, are, we're taking on. These guys may have been, like, uh, working together, or maybe they're just both part of the same faction or something, or maybe this guy's just also a jerk. Who knows? So in this case, um, I'm actually just going to keep hitting him. It's one of those cases. He has to turn around, so he's also not getting the movement bur uh, bonus. I'm actually going to wait, and then I'm going to do my power attacks. And his shields are down, so I, I'm going to use a, a one, another ability of mine, which is a precision attack. This is going to allow me to target one of his um, systems to, like, cripple. So, like, I usually go for, like, the, the engine. You could go for the generator as well. I think if you land, like, a fatal blow on the generator, it might actually explode, um, which is kind of cool. Um, we've been doing a lot of attacks in a row, so I'm actually building up quite a lot of heat. If you see if my my heat's at 40. If it goes um, past those little that little mark there, then every round that it stays above that is an um, potential for uh, a fire to start, and it can spread too. So like a fire could could um, you know ignite on one of our systems, and then we have to try and put that out. I have a, a, a special ability for trying to put out the fire um, but it could spread to other systems so it can actually cause a, a huge problem for us um and you can also take advantage of this for other uh in other ships as well like one of the systems i could target to um do some damage to like with my precision strike is their heat control so they could i could like you know notice for instance like if someone's doing a lot of attacks i might try and take advantage of that fact and try and cripple their their ability to manage their heat and then um, the fire in their ship might actually take them out before, you know, like without me having to do a thing. Scanners have picked up an emergency beacon in this sector. We visit the designation location, designated location and respond to the distress call in the next 200 galactic hours. Are you able to help? Yes. Beam me the details. So we have new missions in that regard. Uh, my research has identified evidence of a potential relic located in a ruin in the sector. Can you investigate and deliver it to Steel Station in the Ilian, uh, sector? Yes, sure. So one of those is definitely a priority over the other. Um, not sure. Let's see. Respond to distress call. No, I don't want to, I don't want to abort it. I want to make it a priority. So, um, I do kind of wish that there was distinguishing mark as to which is which. Like, one of these is definitely more important than the other since it's, there's a time limit on that. Um, respond to the distress call. Well, we'll just take a chance. I guess I shouldn't have accepted both missions. Because it makes it, uh, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. So, uh, I managed to cripple that guy's, uh, the, um shields before, you know right away so i'm gonna go ahead and hit his engine that is gonna hopefully make it so they can't move but it doesn't matter because that was the uh, finishing blow this guy is running around harassing someone else which i'm gonna you know i'd love to help you out but i'm gonna leave it for now the ship is a member of a friendly faction oh i don't want to attack it i want to contact them help my ship has recently been looted by a union raider you must find them and recover the looted aluminum um by force if necessary are you able to help yes my mission is to assist as best as i can i don't want to hear about how it's alumi aluminum i don't care all right this guy is hitting me so i'm gonna go ahead and hit him right back and then uh, let's hit his engine that's enough N the nice one two three combo works real well works wonders um someone else is making their way over to me Kind of don't... All right, he's he's gonna... He's gonna... Wow. Okay. It's okay. He... Okay, he's he's making his way over here. Let's hit him. Miss. Wow, we're missing with everything on this guy. I... I, I hit the fire button, but unfortunately I was out of range and it just, like, killed our turn. 
So let's hit him with our one, two, three. Amazing. Amazing. I'm missing with everything on this guy. I don't know if he, maybe he's just got a very agile ship. So I, I, this is one of the reasons I guess I like to attack before I move. It's because I like to see what they're going to do and then um, react to it. Nice. So uh, this guy's got the the thing that uh, he, he stole the thing. So his, he's actually got um, some debris um, between me and him. And hence, like when I when I hover over him, um, it'll show me at somewhere, I guess, 55, yeah, 55 percent chance to hit him. And I think part of that is because of the debris that is providing him with some cover. So it might actually be better for me to um, move first and then attack. I guess I did hit him. So I'm going to move away. He's he's pointed forward, so I know he's going to move forward. So I may as well move away from him and then attack. There we go. Hostile ship is destroyed and you receive retrieve the aluminum. <laughs> All right. So we got we got what we need. We can leave now. The environmental effect is now active in the sector. Prone to corrosive storms. Okay. So the sto storms are back. Um, this guy seems easy. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and use my automatic weapons. So that means like basically every time we move, we also fire. Kind of works similarly. It reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Jupiter Hell. The way the way combat in that game worked. I'll, I'll set those back to manual. It's definitely uh, a good idea to, to you know do manual. All right, let's just do uh, a, a movement. The move, like the movie, the way that you move around, it definitely kind of reminds me of um, like a sieve. Mission accomplished. We got some experience. We got some reputation. Um, some credits. It's all good stuff. I think there's definitely rewards for exploring the sector. I think we do gain something from that. We recover the relic. Oh, we actually have a time limit on that relic as well. So let's. Ambush. You've been intercepted by hostile Union forces. Scans indicate three ships with the following armaments. Missiles, cannons. Dang. Okay. Well, this guy is behind us. I'm going to actually... I feel like waiting in this one instance would be a good idea. Because I'd like to close the gap on them. And we're in a very good position here because uh, we have this like choke point and they can't really do too much about it because you know they're i mean they, they can probably squeeze in if they really want to and they probably do I, i'm just going to target that guy and then we're going to hit him with our power attack shoot him with our other weapon and then i'm going to start moving so i get this asteroid co nice cover bonus not sure if he actually hit me there. It would seem odd if he did. Okay, we're going to power up our weapons and then hit him. Nice. Uh, I can't do a precision attack because I, I fired with both weapons. Ooh, we launched weapon uh, missiles. I'm going to do like a circle by while he decides to, to head over to us. Nice. Almost uh, a kill. There we go. It is a kill. Like I say, you get, once you get used to the combat in this game, um, it's actually it's it's actually really fun. It's very snappy, um, and uh, you know it's different. You know, I, I appreciate that this that uh, this game is trying to do some some things different from other traditional roguelikes. I mean, first of all, like even doing a hex based traditional roguelike is kind of a ballsy move. Like that's not an easy thing to manage. There's a lot of a lot of lads around here. Um, why can't we move? Weapons are set to manual. Oh, um, okay. Let's let's just do automatic for now. These guys are really I don't know if they're like mining or something. I think they're kind of stuck in some kind of horrible loop. I just like to destroy things, honestly. I don't. I don't have much uh, reasoning other than that. But I guess uh, we don't have all the time in the world because I have to go all the way across the world. So let's um let's do a travel to Bullock. 
and hopefully uh, i am kind of running out of fuel you do have to worry about fuel in this game we can dock and we can refuel ship refueled and i'm gonna go in the direction of this relic ruin you can uh, I, i'm using mouse controls but you can um there you can use w uh wasd and q and e will uh represent the different uh hexes so this is a ruined ai lab i am right clicking there we go among the dark twisted forms of the wreck you are able to scavenge uh materials worth four four credits wow don't go crazy on that while exploring the wreck you discover an operational ai fragment using Pre-fall technology. This will be a significant boost for your faction's operational research. Plus one resources. You identify and retrieve the relic from the ruin using the hollow scans you were given. You will now need you will need to be delivered safely to Steel Station. A shard of Kentros added to cargo hold. So that is not in this system. So we're going to have to make a move to that. Luckily, it is only one jump away one thing I, I this is such a small nitpick I, I i feel bad even bringing it up but i'm pretty sure i did bring it up the first time and i i i just want to strongly encourage um it's just such a small quality of life thing i would really like to see a warp animation <laughs> like when you jump between sectors like literally anything i just think it's so disappointing um when you hit like you know i, I want to travel to a new system uh, and you just like fades to black and then like, yeah, we're in a new, we're in a new system now. Um, it, it just doesn't do much for you because it, 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 energy critical. What? Generator is disabled. It doesn't do much for you because it, it doesn't really give you much sense of like a scale. Like it really, I must say scale. Like you're, you've got an entire galaxy of, uh, you know, systems and spaces and, and places to go right but when you get there i mean let's be honest it feels the same um you know it's it's just a big hex map with uh, some stations and some asteroids and and not much to distinguish it from anything else you might have a different ish background but like that background is kind of uh you know who can, you know it doesn't it, it's not really distinguishing it it's just like different you know like it's not gonna give it much character and so um i guess like by not having some kind of animation or some kind of visual to represent you moving traveling um it really kind of it, it's not that it makes or breaks anything it's that it kind of um clarifies the the fact that all of these maps are are very kind of generic you know like you you're not really traveling to any anywhere you're not going anywhere you're not going of any any anywhere of any like note or merit it's just like you're moving from map a to map b and um you don't even get a sense of like like how far that is right i definitely i have mentioned this before but i definitely think that space games are um like there i've jokingly said that they're only as good as their warping animation but i think there's some truth in that like if you're gonna have a space theme if you're gonna have that flavor um you definitely want to lean into some of the it's gonna sound kind of cringy but like cool factor like why set your game in space why are we in space and not just like you know on in some kind of like fantasy with forest and and uh you know with orcs like why are we fighting ships and not like shooting bow and arrow at like you know goblins or something right like there has to be a reason and unfortunately i think for a lot of people um it might feel like the reason you set your game in space is because it is cheap like it's easy to kind of add static ships and having have them moving around the map and that you don't really have to have too many animations for that right you don't have to have a lot of things a lot of moving parts for space space is easy to represent right and i'm forgiving when it comes to something like that i i, I actually i love the space theme regardless of how you use it but i definitely think that like i, I do think about how um, your game is being represented how are you are representing your game to other people and what the first impressions are going to be and it's like have you used the space theme to the best of your ability have you um, kind of leaned into a lot of what makes space interesting um, 
and you know like i think unfortunately for a lot of space games it kind of comes off as generic because it's like well we got we've got factions again and we've got you know laser beams again and and uh you know and we've got you know just like rocks in space and uh you know like but like we don't really make use of a lot of what makes space so compelling and so inspiring is it's like you literally have an entire universe of bizarre alien you know stuff and there's you know just literally infinite possibilities with how you can use that i'm kind of tangenting a little bit but i i think that um part of what irks me a bit about relic um was it relic space yeah relic space is that it, it doesn't really lean into its themes as much as it could i think um you know i'm, I'm gonna be playing uh approaching infinity which is another space a traditional roguelike and i i feel like uh, it's a good comparison to kind of what i'm talking about because it really does like it, it leans into a very specific flavor of space which is like kind of like a gung gung-ho like uh ray guns and and kind of like star trek space theme where it's just like everything is strange and and the aliens look like they're made out of puppets almost you know like it's it, anything can can happen it's anything is possible um so any anyway sorry to tangent like that but you know it, it just kind of occurs to me what what bothers me about a game not having a warp animation it just feels like that is like almost like the bare minimum when you're gonna do a space game um I have other priorities. Let's see. Hold on. Scanners have picked up an emergency beacon in the sector. Visit the designate. Okay. Beam me the details. So let's go ahead and do another mission. Um, that's, it seems like I'm being very uh, harsh on the game um, in that respect. But like, I, I, I want to be clear. I do, I do actually really like this game. I think it's got a very satisfying progression. And I think that it has very fun combat and original combat. I just, I definitely want to see, I would like to see maybe uh it do a bit more with its flavor order have completed research on a rel relativistic kinetics small auto cannons are now available at some order stations new research okay what do you need help my ship has been recently looted this is exactly the same mission we just did um so it seems that this lad is hanging out over here. Oh, we've got a, we've got someone else we got to deal with first. I think I'd rather focus on our our quest right now. Whoops. No, we're not close enough. I should probably look into some other weapons that have a, a better range. Um, we're set to automatic right now, which is honestly fine. So he's turning around, which is kind of a problem. Let's try and uh, destroy their engine. Power attack them. And, you know, we can, we can, what I'll do is I'll circle around this asteroid so I can, I can, uh, when they start moving again, our heat, we've got some heat problems. That's fine. Hostile ship destroyed and you retrieve the silicates. Nice. Let's uh, get those back to their prospective owners. Got some experience. We're getting pretty close to being able to level up. We'll go. Um, there's a, a mission here. The red, the red uh, exclamation usually means that we can't uh, take that mission yet. We've gotten uh, ourselves eight military victory points. Ooh, some uh, lads here make uh, working our, our station over. Okay, nice. The killing um, things is worth a certain amount of XP, but I have found that it is not a lot of XP um, versus completing quests. My research has identified evidence of a potential relic. Okay, um, okay this is almost the same mission again. Uh, beam me the details. Might want to see a bit more... Um, variety in in some of these missions because they they are starting to, to already feel kind of samey i've gotten four missions and uh two of them were duplicates okay a large asteroid right click to mine 
You identify the relic and retrieve the relic from the asteroid using the hollow scans you were given. So now we're going to have to hand that over to someone else. So we'll, we'll move over to another system. I guess the other reason, it, like, you know, the reason that there are warp animations in the first place, not to harp on this, um, but like the reason you have them in the first place is because you have to load, right? And this game has loading screens. So, um, you know, why not take advantage of that by showing us some, some sense of like, I don't know. So show just, you know, have some eye candy. I suppose that really is all it is. This is a enemy station. So I don't think I want to hang out around there. Or unless maybe it's not an enemy station. Well, either way, we have someone we have to fight here. Okay, we only... Oh, we shot him with both our weapons. I, I kind of wish I could um, set... Like, you know, I, I know we're set to automatic. But I don't know if we can... Yeah, I guess we can. We can choose when to um, attack with, with which weapon. Let's hit their engine. There we go. They're done. We got some money. Ooh, something else. Wait, that's uh, that's not a bad guy. Or is it? I guess it can be an enemy. There's always that potential. Nice. We found two, two cobalt. Um, are you shooting at me now, bud? I don't know if maybe there was another enemy that I was not seeing. Okay, let's uh, just move our way over here. Refuel. Um, hand our thing over. You should attain... 0.1 tons of the resource in whatever way you see fit. So this is a economical mission. Um, 400 galactic hours. I actually think I would rather not do that. I identify evidence of a potential relic located in an asteroid. You know, it, it doesn't help my case when I, I, I am offered a different mission and I don't take it. I thought that this was where I was delivering um, the relic. But it seems like I no, actually. I wonder if we can do just like mining. Like I wonder if there's like space stuff to do. Yeah, you can you can you can a mine asteroids. Your ship storage is at capacity, so you're unable to mine. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to turn around, but it's. Proving to be difficult right now for some reason. Oh, it's because there's someone nearby that I can combat with. I'm not sure. I'd rather not combat. Trying again. I am trying desperately to do anything and the game is refusing to let me. All right, there we go. I got kind of stuck. I, I tried to skip, but it... all right. Um... Many thanks for your help. It will not go unnoticed by my command. Ship refueled. Um, what do you need? Sulfur. Supplies of sulfur are urgently needed by Omega Wing for a ship construction project. We could like look to see if I can mine some sulfur. But I think honestly, I really don't want to take that. Let's um, let's sell what we've got there there is a, an economy like you can you can see the, the down arrows will mean that um the uh the regional shortage right they'll give you the best price and then this water is what they produce in this uh at the station so they won't give you very much for that um we can buy we could buy some stuff like i could buy water for instance but um let's have a look at some equipment so our our ship is like actually fully loaded um, I have some core armor that uh, helps with protection, and I've got two weapons. But um, we could look at some other stuff. We could also, you know, it might be worth looking at some new ships. These are locked, I, apparently. I'm not sure if that means we can't. Oh, unlock ship for amount of credits. So do we have to unlock it um, and then buy it? I wonder. This one has uh, two weapon slots and three utility slots. 
So it might be that this is actually more what what we want to look at. And we do have the money that we can afford it. So why don't we have why don't we why don't we do that? Board ship. Transferring all equipment items from your current ship. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a new ship. I do I, I like uh, how easy that was. It's usually it takes a long time to get a new ship. So that means we have much more room for utility. So we could look at a fuel scoop, gather 40 fuel from gas clouds. I've, I have actually found myself in a position in which this would be useful. Um, like I say, you need fuel, uh, a lot of fuel. So um, it, to, to be able to get it yourself would, would be kind of nice. What is this gravitic booster? This is the thing I unlocked with my relic. Gravity field generator allowing enhanced maneuverability plus 10% speed. That sounds really cool, actually. Let's grab, wait, let me just be clear. Yeah, okay, that is a utility. So we'll grab that and we'll throw that on our, what is this Eye of Endar? Highly expressive design of this artwork suggests an origin in the neo-aesthetic period. An elegant button on its side caused an abstract holographic image to surround the object. Now that's kind of cool. We have a small cannon. Um, we don't really have room for more uh, lasers. I wonder if we could get um, a bit more capacity. Could we get, uh, no, we can't. What's AI scanner? Provides enhanced visual scan range. We could grab that. That sounds like fun. All right. Definitely, uh, we can see a bit farther. But, uh, okay, so we have to deliver something over there. Deliver the relic to Bautista. Cool. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's have a quick look. I want to see... Um, can we mine? We can't mine that asteroid. I wonder if, uh, like, I guess only certain asteroids are um, mineable. I want to see if we can, which ones we can mine. Oh, you've been intercepted by hostile Union forces. Uh, not good, but we are actually in a pretty good position right now because there's a somewhere we can go. Oh, you know, that's, I think there's a debris there. So never mind. The gray, slot, uh, gray hexes actually provide you with an extra... Um, indication of like where you can't go in a way our movement kind of tells us like we can see uh, sort of where this like labyrinth is leading so we have a really good um, position here we are taking some really nasty damage but we should be able to kind of funnel them into a choke point um Okay, let's uh, see if we could cripple his engine there. Oh, I was kind of hoping actually that um, we'd be able to like make him block off this whole area. That would have been really nice. So we are, oh my God, he tried to shoot us like through the asteroid field. That was, that was really crafty. This, uh, ast this debris only provides 30% cover. So he has the opportunity to shoot through that. But now he's like he's completely turned around, so our uh, the opportunity is ours. This guy's got a very fast moving ship, though. He doesn't look he's only like a level one or something, so he I don't think he's gonna have the chops to take me on. But either way, we uh, got to our station. Mission complete. I have Endar acquired. Um, so let's have a look at, maybe we can look at relics. Okay, so these are the ones we've already acquired. So, um, broad spectrum detection provides us with stinger missile, relativistic, uh, kinetics autocannon, particle wave phase analytics. I'm pretty sure this is the one we just handed in and this uh, provides a phaser. And I think that, um, that bar indicates like they need time to research it basically. And, and it will, um, provide us with some technology. So there's a, there's an interesting kind of like meta game where um your faction is like slowly progressing it's almost like there's a a, a 4x metagame happening while you're playing just like a, a traditional roguelike um where your faction is like trying to conquer the galaxy and like gain, gain technology via these relics that you're handing in and their um their progression affects what kind of stuff you can buy and and how you progress which is really interesting i i kind of really dig that um pilot oh yeah we've we've leveled up so we can get some new abilities i wouldn't mind getting laser focus 
Um, I think we already have laser, laser focus one. So if we get laser focus two, that'll give us some extra um, power on our on our lasers. But I think better than that would be divert power to weapons one. If we get this, it'll um, make it a bit stronger. Next level, 50%. Yeah, so now when we use our divert power to weapons, it'll make our weapons do 50% more damage as opposed to 25, which is a, a nice sizable chunk. I have to say, I, I do uh, appreciate that. I, I don't know if I'm if this was a problem I had with the original version, but like, I think some of the st statistical bonuses were a little bit uh, flimsy, like they didn't feel um, high enough to really matter. So I'm not sure if that's something they remedied or maybe I'm just remembering a different game. Um, but either way, I, I do appreciate that, that, you know, how, how big some of these bonuses are. They feel like actual prog progress, you know, like they feel like a sizable chunk. Um, Oh, already. We're, so, we're, you know, one of those, this is unfortunate because there was a guy like right in our way. But there's one of the instances where like, oh my God, look how many enemies there are. Order of completed research on particle wave phase analysis. So they, I'm pretty sure they finished um, looking at the, the Eye of Ender. I do wonder if that's a reference. Um, I, I could be wrong about that. There's a lot of enemies, and uh, I am kind of taking advantage of some of the chaos of the system to make sure that, you know, we split them up. Definitely, you you always want to... Uh, why can't we do a power shot? Our, our systems? Okay, so... Uh, what's going on with our lasers? That causes no special effect. Are they are, are are both of our laser weapons um, damaged right now? The the missile animations are pretty cool, I gotta say. Uh, it's it feels to me like I'm unable to. You know what? Let's try repair equipment. No equipment damaged. I'm wondering why we're unable to attack right now. Limited turn radius. Yeah, no kidding. We're really hemmed in right now. All right. Well, oh, you are you guys attacking me? Not sure what's going on there at all. Missions are available in the sector. What, what, what do we get here? Order completed a defense construction project. So undoubtedly someone else did that contributing factor. All right, let's see if we can't um, find the other mission in this in this area. We do have a lot more fuel capacity on this ship than the old one. Where is um, is there another station? Oh, okay, so we have to go back to Thomas. Thomas has a another mission for us. Unless it's uh it's that same mission that is like go and acquire some sulfur. I really hope not. Designate and respond to the distress call. Okay. Um sure. New mission targets. Uh, I'm unable to move right now. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a there's a baddie. Why can't I fire? No weapons enabled. What does that mean? Oh, I had them disabled. Why did I have them disabled? That seems very strange. Well, at least we figured out what was going on. All right, let's uh, let's find out what uh, what's wrong with this dude. Uh, my ship has been disabled, but a shipment of carbon on board is urgently needed for a fleet project as a priority one request by a project director. Deliver it to Thomas Station. I mean, yeah, sure, it's like right over there. Movement bonus granted. 
Mission complete. Got some experience. Got some credits. Um, that's it. Have you completed the assignment yet? Ooh, yeah, I thought I did. Explore other sectors for new missions. Okay, that's that seems like an odd one. I definitely did complete the assignment. So there's some uh, missions over at these order mission available. Um, so let's check this place out. We could also, um, let's head towards the, you know, back a bit maybe, because there's uh, a lot more missions over there that I could take care of. But yeah, I, I would say like, I think that this game is, um, I, I don't know if it felt difficult the first time I took a crack at it, but it definitely feels a lot more forgiving now. Like I definitely, like I, maybe I just have a better sense of uh, how the combat works or maybe the progression is a bit more uh, lenient, but like I definitely feel uh, way stronger now and, and able to kind of uh, manipulate things a bit better. Um, our intel suggests they are de decrypting critical strategic communications in this sector. Scans indicate five ships defending this target. Are you able to help? Yes. Well, this this might be a bit spicy. Destroy the target ship. Okay, there's uh, already stuff going down. Let's see if we can't take care of this guy. Oh, that was a nice hit. Um, let's hit their generator. Ooh, that was really nice. Generally, I don't like to move towards other enemies while I'm already fighting one, but I, I have to, had kind of had to if I wanted to turn things around, you know, turn my ship around and maintain my my bonus. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and oh nice, got their shields down in like one turn. I'm gonna yeah, I was hoping that they would kind of come circle back towards me. I should have done a precision shot there. Let's do a precision shot and hit their generator. Generator unstable. That's what I like to see. Um, they are very quick, so I can't, like, they can move out of my range in almost the same, you know, like almost one turn. They're destroyed. Let's uh, head towards this lad over here. We're set to automatic. That's maybe not a good idea. Do a power shot. I should have uh, did, done a precision shot first. Um, yeah, let's hit their generator. That's fun. And like you can see based on like the direction of certain ships, like when, where should you move? Should you be turning around already or or not? We, we I didn't mean to like stand still there, but um, that's fine. It worked out in the end. Okay, so actually I could use some time to recover, so I'm going to uh, veer away from this guy a little bit. And he actually turned in the wrong direction. He guessed wrong. So now that's going to buy me a little bit of time to um, recover. And actually we could we could spend a lot of time recovering in this asteroid field. And now I'm back to full uh, shields. Meanwhile, this guy doesn't really have shields, although he did do quite a lot of damage. To no, never mind. We have, we, have, we have shields. I wonder why it's showing a mostly red bar there. That's kind of odd. All right, yeah, we can take him out in like one hit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dock and repair and refuel. I don't think you can generally do that if you're in combat, but since I wasn't in combat, then, you know, it was fine. I managed to hit him with both both our, our shots. I was able to also um, turn our ship around while also maintaining our range, which was really nice. And now we can chase him while we while we fight him. Automatic, uh, you know, there's room for automatic when you feel like you don't need to like agonize over every little thing. Um, but definitely manual is is nice in its given moment. This guy has a mission for us, so we're gonna call him. Uh, um, a shipment of 0.1 tons is ready for loading. Deliver it to a transport ship in the Fedora system sector in the next 200 galactic hours. In exchange for your services, you will receive 224 credits. That's actually really nice. Sure, yeah. Um, but we still have something we need to do here. Um, not sure where... Who, like, we're supposed to destroy targeted ship. Completing this mission will add one to the Union's surveillance stat. 
I'm not sure where they are. Oh, wait, they're all the way over there. Cancel. It really wants me to cancel that mission. I wasn't even like hovering over the mission. But anyway, that's fine. Um, I want to complete this mission before I start the next one. So we, we did pretty much fight all of the other dudes except for the one that we needed. Or out of range right now, but he's heading towards us. So him actually circling away was uh, to our great advantage Because it means I was able to you know kind of close our range there. Oh, he is super fast His his oh, he's he's in a great position right now You've been ambushed. Oh, no Oof, that was nice. Really good hits. I'm um, pretty sure they have... No, we have a 95% chance of hitting them. Let's hit their generator. Um, we should be able to take them out. Nope. Shields are low. Our shields are indeed low. We got some materials. What, what happened to the dude? Where Where is our guy? Is this the guy? I don't know if that's the guy. Ooh, he's got a really cool ability, uh, unfortunately. No effective... What? Oh, it is, he, has, he still has his shields. Uh... Let's, uh... Let's... Cripple his weapon for once. Cannon draining power. Cannon disabled. Perfect. Yes. I don't think that that was the guy that we needed to take out. I'm not sure where that guy is. Destroy the target ship. Where is he? Did he like move to a different sector? Order mission available. Like, I saw him move over here, and then he just kind of disappeared. And we're running out of time. Destroy the target ship. I wonder... Oh. No? I don't know. I, I really don't know. That, that seems like almost like a bug. Because I, I, I don't want to make false claims here, but like I, I really don't know what happened to the guy. Um, so why don't we move over here and try and accomplish one of our goals? It might be, it might be that the, if they move to the edge of the, uh, the map, then they can change um, what sector they're in. We have 122 turns to um, deliver this carbon. I really don't have time to be messing around with you, my dude. So I'm just going to be moving towards my goal. And if you want to follow me, then you can eat my automatic uh, fire. Oh my god, there's a lot of y'all. There's a enemy um, station between me and this, uh, I don't know, thing I'm trying to deliver to. Oh my god. There is a lot of y'all. Alright, let's um, try and, and do some damage to this lad while I'm doing like a flyby. Oh my god. Like, we've got the chops. We, 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 we're okay. And uh, we took one of these guys out. But, man, we're being chased down right now. Okay, we managed to... What? You have failed to complete this mission in the allocated time. No impact on faction stats. Or, we lost reputation. Your assistance is much appreciated. Okay, so we delivered the carbon. Okay, we, we failed the mission where we had to kill the guy that disappeared. Uh, what is happening? 
all in the line of duty so i i don't know there's kind of confusing there but that's fine um this the asteroids in the sector are particularly resource rich ri uh, resource rich resulting in increased plus two output from mining so there is mining in this game you could do some mining which is cool i always like uh mining in in space games they're usually uh it's usually a chill time you know like just go and mine some resources and then there's always the risk reward of like oh i've got a cargo full of of gold and i have to get back without you know getting killed um or, or raided we are in kind of a little bit of trouble right now there's a lot of these lads right now um so let's oh if that could have landed uh, that hit could have landed it would have been really nice man you all don't seem to be uh decreasing in numbers at all so I'm just going to be running away as I automatic fire backwards. Shields depleted. Things are starting to get a little bit spooky. Insufficient energy to move. Oh, no. Um, I actually think that we're going to we're going to switch to um, manual. We're going to switch to manual and I need to get out of here. Are we, do we have a fire right now? Core armor draining power. Okay. Uh, okay. Space to man. You do, dude, you really, okay. We're going to have to repair. Let's re repair our, our core armor. I'm pretty sure it was draining our power and that's why we had none. But I really need to, like, get out of here. There we go. Okay, we're, we're getting our uh, shield back a little bit. Let's actually... I'm going to let them catch up a bit because I want to take this guy out. There we go. Easy enough. Things got a little bit spooky there. I should have collected that loot while uh, I was I was there. I'm gonna wait again so they they can catch up. I I have I do wonder um, if like certain weapons have an advantage of shooting through certain hazards like uh, debris field. Nice. Okay, let's uh, increase our weapons. Nice. Okay. That was a lot of dudes to take on, but we managed to do it. Um, let's move back to automatic. Why? Sometimes the game gets a little bit stuck. Okay. Wait, I don't think we can interact with this um, station. All right. Uh, is there anyone? Okay, there's a, someone else another another station we can we can do business with um so yeah like you know what can what else can i say we're our we're winning um we've we've got a lot more military now i i think that's something you you know it's worth worth noting this there's two victory conditions um i think something that the 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 devs are still working on is that there's going to be like a story victory as well like you can actually um, do, there'll be like an actual campaign that you can work through. Um, so that's something that is is due to be added to the game um, at a later time. But right now, there's there's two victories. If if I, I have to assume if one of the factions reaches their economic vic victory before you reach your military victory, then it's still kind of a, um, a quotation marks loss. But you can't really lose that way because you can still kind of play the game. Like it just means that you your your faction did not win, you know, galactic supremacy or whatever. Um, but it's not to say that uh, that's like, you know, the only thing that you should care about. Um, definitely, I think it's a motivation to take certain missions, and it's basically a way of like pushing you in a specific direction. But uh, I, I don't think that it's like the only thing you should focus on. But my thoughts on on Relic Space are I, I think it's a really good game. Honestly, I do. Um, I do think that it could use a little bit of um, a spit shine polish uh, to some of its like look. 
um, and maybe uh, have a bit more variety in in how you play it. Like I, I compare it to some of the other space games I've played, where like you're, you, of course, you're like mining and trading, but also you can like find derelict ships, for instance, or you know you can like make find allies or something, or you know uh, co make contact with alien races, and you know like I, I know there's a you know space it's it's been kind of done to death and and i think that uh, there's a temptation to always like retread the same ground but i definitely think that the potential of space you know you should definitely consider like how how much potential there is to do wild and crazy stuff and i think that relic space has does take some risks just not really with its flavor more with its systems and its mechanics um it's more of a breakaway in the traditional roguelike factor than it is in like uh, as a space game um it kind of plays it safe in certain ways as a space game but all that being said like i've played a lot of traditional roguelikes and i think that relic space is on kind of the genteeler side it's a bit kinder to the player and i actually uh, I really applaud that because I, I definitely think that traditional roguelikes can feel so unforgiving sometimes. And um, I, I, it's really nice to actually play one that doesn't m just beat you to death <laughs> and, and, uh, and then spit on your corpse, you know. Um, so I, I really appreciate this for like playing like a fun game and not just like a exercise in masochism. Um, so anyway, Relic Space, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.